Ain't nothing better than watching you smile. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ain't nothing better than watching you laugh out loud, my baby. Ain't nothing better than watching you be you. Ain't nothing better than right now. In your eyes lie the secrets I don't wanna miss. Put your hand in my hand and make a fist. Grab my shirt, curl your lip as if you know. Staring back in my eyes, saying, Please don't go. I don't know what I know what I know what I know what it is that you really, really want or you need. I hate every moment away from you. See you sleeping in my dreams. I know you're in your mother's arms. I know that you're safe from harm. You know I'm coming home real soon, and I'm bringing all my love for you. Ain't nothing better than watching you smile. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ain't nothing better than watching you laugh out loud, my baby. Nothing better than watching you be you. Ain't nothing better than right now. Mm. And I can't take away the pain if I don't know you're hurting again. I can't leave you on your own if I know you're crying all alone. And my heart's pumping black and blue. That's how I feel when I'm not with you. A million years pass every day. Losing the time, I'm always on my way. I don't know what I know, what I know, what I know what to do. I hope you understand when I'm gone. I'll always come back home for you. Open your eyes to a brand new dawn. Ain't nothing better than watching you smile. Whoa. Nothing better than watching you laugh. relatives, friends, teachers, administrators, honored guests, and fellow graduates of the class of 2020. I am Kayla Mulrine, and as senior class president, I am honored to welcome you to the 37th commencement ceremony for Nottingham High School. Thank you for sharing in our celebration and adding to our happiness. Without your love and support, we would not be here today. Please welcome senior class treasurer, Stella Spatola, who will lead us in the flag salute. Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner performed by Senior Kyle Bethea. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight of the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket to red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled 
pleasure to welcome students, family, administrators, and faculty to Nottingham's Class of 2020 graduation. Every one of you has made an impact on today's graduates. My fellow seniors, who would have thought that the days we've been counting down until graduation would end up being days we'd spend wishing to go back? Though graduation day has arrived and our 13-year wait has finally come to an end, our graduation is not one we could have ever imagined. Today, we are amid a pandemic that has brought the entire world to its knees, where the flood of masks are constant reminders of everything we have lost in our final, most memorable year. But I feel as though that's all we've been able to focus on. So let's put the spotlight on this instead. The class of 2020 is one of great potential. We are the class that will change the world. We've already made history, why stop here? We are a class of action. The past four years have been spent seeing something and doing something. We've spent untold hours volunteering in our community, whether it was teaching little kids how to code or reading to them, running cereal drives, packing countless lunches for those in need, or raising funds for medical causes we believe in. We are a class of persistence and determination. This year, our debate team was one point shy of winning our third division title, and the Consumer Bowl team lost by only one question in the Mercer County Championship, their best showing ever. Winning many awards throughout the 2019-2020 competition season, the marching unit went on to a fourth place win overall at the U.S. Band State Championship. We are a class of creativity and talent. This year, because of the school closings, we are the only class to be able to present our school musicals all four years. We've seen phenomenal performances in Tarzan, Saturday Night Fever, Beauty and the Beast, and Catch Me If You Can. We've also seen advances in creative technology with our senior video being published online for the first time. We are a class of acceptance. This year, we've reestablished our Equality Club, renamed PRISM, and have had 21 members join. We are a class of hard work and perseverance. If the announcements didn't succeed in emphasizing how amazing our sports program is, allow me. Our field hockey team broke their 39 game losing streak this year. Great job, guys. Our basketball team went on to the second round of the Central Jersey Group 3 tournament. Our boys track team won their second straight Mercer County tournament for the winter. Our Group 3 state champions yet again and it gives me chills to announce our four by 200 meter team not only broke our school record, but is ranked number one in the United States as a high school team. And as for our baseball team, Mr. Icona would like me to note that this is the team's first year having an undefeated season. We are a class destined to make a difference. Our dear yet fanatical Mr. Capone always pushed safety. He was pleased to report our safety numbers are much better than the national average, with the highest seatbelt usage and lowest texting while driving numbers, although I'm not quite sure where he's getting these numbers from. That's your cue to actually wear your seatbelt and not text while driving, seniors. Seriously, let Capone's voice echo in your head. We are a class ready to adapt. Yes, we are in unprecedented times, and it is truly unfortunate we did not have our traditional ending to high school. But if there is any class that can use this as momentum for change, it is us. We are a class with clear vision. As the world remains indoors, our earth has begun to heal. As you have remained indoors, you have begun to grow. For some, this was much needed family time, eating healthier, meditating, picking up a new hobby, or enhancing your knowledge on various topics, or Maybe even if the only thing you've had quality time with was Netflix or your gaming console, it doesn't matter. A fire has been lit beneath us. Don't let that fire die out. Take that spark and run with it and light a fire under every person you come into contact with. We are the class that is going to change this world. Nottingham has given us all a different experience. It has led us all to different places. 
but it has left us all with one thing in common. We are North Stars. We are family, and we are all beautifully unique in every way. We leave those crowded halls to hopefully walk through bigger ones, to serve our country, to cure diseases, to break records, to help those in need. Our time at Nottingham has taught us many things. It has taught us to embrace our differences. It has taught us that success is what you are willing to put into it and to always reach for the stars. Lastly, it has now taught us to not take things for granted and to make the most of each and every day. Class of 2020, you are extraordinary in every way. You are capable of more than you believe and you will accomplish much more than you can imagine. Don't back down, but rise to the occasion. From the ashes, we will rise. This is not the end, but only the beginning. Congratulations to Nottingham Senior Class of 2020. Thank you. Typically at this stage in our ceremony, the salutatorian would be presented. This year, however, following the trend of unprecedented times, we are honored to name two students as salutatorian. Please welcome the first of these honorees, Ethan Passario. So, Nottingham Senior Class of 2020, here we are. I, for one, can agree with all of you when I say I did not expect our graduation to look like this. Due to the current circumstances, we might not be able to come together in one place for our last hurrah as seniors. We might not be able to go up on stage and receive the ticket to the next step of our lives. And I won't be giving this speech in front of all of you, my friends and my peers that I've made the fondest of memories with. But hey, on the lighter side, like some other senior classes, maybe we will actually remember our high school graduation. When I look back on the last decade that we grew up in, it dawned on me that the world has always gotten harder on us as time went on. Environmental disasters, economic declines, challenges of establishing proper equality, representation, and recognition for all. And now to top it all off, a global pandemic the likes of which we never could have foreseen. Yet, again, here we are. Apart, but together, as one class, one community connected, braving the challenges of everyday life. As the great Mahatma Gandhi once said, unity, to be real, must stand the severest strain without breaking. We came together to support our sports teams on the field as they fought valiantly. We came together to share our knowledge and character with the youths of our community so they have role models to look up to. And we came together to volunteer ourselves to give back to those across the county. We as a class have always strived to be a part of building a better tomorrow, and now is no different. Even in the midst of such uncertain times, amongst the harshest of adversities, we as North Stars triumph time and time again, and we do so together. For if one of us wins, we all win. Like each and every one of you, I too have many questions about the uncertain future. Questions about college, about jobs, and most of all, the security of our future. While the path ahead looks foggy and unknown, I know that years from now, well after we have overcome this unprecedented challenge, we will all look back and marvel at our ability to buckle down and prevail against such insurmountable odds and make way for the road that is our prosperous future. To quote former President Dwight D. Eisenhower, accomplishments will prove to be a journey, not a destination. Nottingham Senior Class of 2020, even in light of these unfortunate circumstances, do not be discouraged in taking pride in our achievements that we've obtained over the last four years. Together, I know we will overcome this challenge, just like we have every single time before. If there's anything to take away from the last four years, it's that we are strong together. We will be the pathfinders to blaze new paths into the sunlit future. We will go forth with vim and with vigor to make a name for ourselves and leave behind a legacy to be proud of. To my teachers, to my friends and peers, and most of all to my dad, thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. I'm so grateful 
to have made such great memories with all of you. And here's to many more years of the same. Good luck, stay safe, and thank you. I now present William Richards, who has also achieved the honor of serving as Nottingham's Class of 2020 co-salutatorian. My fellow seniors in the Nottingham Class of 2020, I extend to you a heartfelt congratulations. No matter where you started, we all ended up in the same place. Unfortunately, that place is not on a stage like we imagined, but we've graduated nonetheless. COVID-19 is just another one of life's tests trying to stop us from achieving our well-deserved success. But the goal of this test remains the same as any other test in our lives. We must emerge, we must emerge smarter, stronger, and better equipped for the future than ever before. Just as we became smarter after studying for the SATs or safer after our driver's tests, we must emerge from this pandemic with more knowledge to take with us into the future. As former President John F. Kennedy once stated, do not pray for easy lives, pray to be stronger men and women. To become these strong men and women, we must learn from our successes and failures alike. We've all experienced success, whether it's one Kayla mentioned or your own personal success. A successful moment is great, but we cannot be content with only one win. A sports team with only one win is almost guaranteed to be the last in the league. Teams don't stop practicing after the first win. They would never improve. If you call it quits after your first success, someone else will beat you, and that feeling of success will fade away. The constant strive to become stronger and beat your own records is what will lead to continuous success. However, success isn't always easy. Sometimes you need to fail first, and that's good. Everyone has failed and will again. But as the wise Henry Ford once said, failure is simply the opportunity to begin again and this time, more intelligently. Our years here at Nottingham have prepared us to deal with hardship. Our teachers have taught us to push through everything and anything. We know that we must bounce back stronger than ever before. We know that we must learn from life's challenges, and we know that we can conquer anything. Our adult lives will not be easy, but Nottingham has taught us to surmount hardships and grow stronger from them. Though none of us wanted it, life brought us COVID-19. And because of that, I cannot make this speech in front of you. I wish I could see each and every one of your faces. I wish I could see the future of compassion, strength, and pride. Life isn't always easy, and there are going to be hardships. But it's how we deal with those hardships that will shape us into the great human beings that I know we can become. Our teachers know administration knows, our family knows, and everyone in this graduating class knows that any one of us can overcome any obstacle life throws at us, even if we don't succeed on the first try. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2020 valedictorian, Evan Daguerreau. Greetings, seniors, families, and faculty. I don't have to tell you all that the school year ended in the most unexpected of ways, but I believe that the school district and our student body have done a fantastic job of adapting to the situation. Now, at the close of our splendid years together at Nottingham High School, we can look back on our shared memories from which we will draw motivation, courage, and inner strength to aid us in the future. After all, each and every one of us entered high school together as inexperienced freshmen. However, many transformations have taken place, and now we find ourselves on the doorstep, looking ahead to the next stage of our lives. Each and every one of us will leave Nottingham armed with the experiences of the past four years. Let's just say that each of these experiences is represented by an arrow. Each arrow will find its way into the quiver that is your memory, where it will patiently rest until the time comes when it is needed to be drawn upon. 
Some of these experiences draw their power from the perseverance and success upon which they are built, as Kayla talked about, and some of these experiences draw their power from the bonds of community through which they are formed, be it in classes, in athletic programs, or through extracurricular activities, like the chess club, which I know many fond and shared memories came from. Our individual memories, or arrows, will motivate us, inspiring us to press forward through even the toughest of times. The shared memories, or bundles of arrows, are what will keep us close to the fellow North Stars that we have matured alongside. And it is this very sense of Nottingham's community and shared experience that will provide strength, support, and hospitality unconditionally. As told in an ancient Japanese proverb, a single arrow is easily broken, but not ten in a bundle. The strongest power and resilience always stems from togetherness and unity, and it is in exactly this that we have excelled. It is unfortunate that we cannot be together right now, for if we could have, I would have asked each of us to look to those around and remember the experiences that we shared with each other. Instead, we can recall these memories from a distance and take comfort in the fact that there will come a time when we can interact and strengthen our community as we used to. Right now, we are each graduating to the next stage of our lives and we will likely go in very diverse directions. But at the same time, we are all moving on together as the Nottingham High School Class of 2020. And there is a bond between all of us that cannot be broken, but only strengthened through more shared experiences and memories. To quote Ryunosuke Satoru, individually, we are one drop. Together, we are an ocean. Thank you, and I wish you all the best, North Stars. And now, our principal, Mr. Frank Regazzo, will present the class of 2020. Good evening, North Stars, and welcome to the 37th graduation ceremony in Nottingham High School's history, and the first ever virtual graduation ceremony. Obviously, this is not the graduation ceremony we had all envisioned for the class of 2020, as our world has literally changed before our eyes in these past few months due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I want you all to know that one of the greatest parts of my job as principal of Nottingham High School is getting to see all the seniors on graduation day each year. I am hopeful and excited that we may be able to celebrate in person the class of 2020 in the near future. I think we can all agree that these past few months have been extremely difficult for many different reasons for all of us. But as always, every member of North Star Nation has stepped up in a huge way. And I would like to thank all of you for your effort. I thank our North Star teachers, guidance counselors, secretaries, and assistants who have continued to work tirelessly to provide a quality education for each and every student all year long, and especially during this period of remote learning. I want to thank my administrative team, Mr. Walsh, Mrs. White, Mr. Walker, and Mr. Adams, and of course, our school resource officer, Officer Dave DeLeon, for consistently dedicating 100% to Nottingham High School. As our school community's motto has always been a family united. I can honestly say that I have never seen more evidence of our North Star family coming together like I have during this global crisis. For that, I would like to thank all of you watching at home, our students, parents, guardians, family members, and all of our surrounding community members for truly partnering in our children's education as well as their social and emotional well-being. I believe it truly does take a village to raise a child and the Nottingham community which we call North Star Nation is one extremely strong and united village for sure. As we work toward getting through this difficult time and all work towards some sense of normalcy in our lives, I believe it's important for all of you to not allow these past few months to erase all of the great memories of the experiences you've had at Nottingham throughout your time in high school. Yes, you have been physically quarantined recently, as we all have. But as the great Eli Manning, the former quarterback of my New York Giants, stated in his message to the class of 20, you should not allow anyone to quarantine the memories, the friendships, or the wisdom you've accumulated over these past four years. For me, I refuse to allow my memories of the great moments of these past four years to be quarantined. Memories of all the greatest spirit weeks in any school anywhere will not be quarantined. Memories of the outstanding school musicals like Beauty and the Beast and Catch Me If You Can will not be quarantined. 
memories of all the thrilling athletic contests that we got to witness, and the athletic achievements like the 13 division titles, the three Central Jersey sectional championships, the four individual state championships in track, the three overall state championships, including our 2018 boys basketball team who won a state championship title in that sport for the first time in school history. These memories and so many more from the last four years cannot and will not be quarantined and will hopefully be cherished by you as they will be by me. The past four years have been great, but now it's time for us to look toward the future. What will your future look like? Surely it will be different for you as you all have different paths that you will travel. But one thing holds true for everyone in the class of 2020. Now is the time for you to take control of your life. Take responsibility for your actions and your past mistakes and failures while continuing to move forward on your path. You hold the power to shape our world for many years to come, and I am confident that your education and experiences at Nottingham High School have given you the tools needed to be successful in life. North Stars, when you go out into the world as high school graduates, hold your heads high and be proud of your accomplishments, but please understand that this is not the end of your lifetime achievements. It is only the beginning, the beginning of a great life that you have the power to make for yourselves, starting with your high school graduation. Inevitably, you will face many obstacles in the coming years, but you must remember to lean on those who support you, like your parents, guardians, siblings, good friends and family members, and please know that you can always return to Nottingham for a guiding hand because you will always be a North Star and we will always be a family united. Thank you. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce the superintendent of Hamilton Township School District, Dr. Scott Rocco, who will accept the class of 2020. Dr. Rocco, I am very proud to certify that these Nottingham High School seniors sitting before you out in the virtual world have met all of the graduation requirements of the New Jersey Department of Education and the very stringent requirements of the Hamilton Township School District. Dr. Rocco, I present to you the class of 2020. Good afternoon, Board of Education members, administrators, faculty, staff, parents, friends, family, and class of 2020. There is a quote that says, at any given moment, you have the power to say that this is not how the story is going to end. As we all know and recognize, this is not the usual graduation. It's not one that you envisioned at the start of your senior year. Heck, the whole spring was different than any one of us would have anticipated. You've heard many times from many people that this was not fair that you missed out on some great experiences and traditions at the end of your senior year. And that's all true. It's not fair. You have the right to be disappointed. But this is not how the story is going to end because we need to remember that while we were all social distancing, people stopped running around from being overscheduled. People started to talk to each other again in a virtual world. People found ways to entertain themselves and their families with game night and puzzles. People binge watched Netflix and Hulu with each other and less people were on the road, less people in the air flying and the environment began to heal and people came together and joined hands to push for equality. Young and old and everyone in between found ways to communicate, share and learn through Skype, Google Meet, FaceTime, and Zoom. For years, your parents and teachers told you to put the device down and pay attention. Yet during this time, your technology served you well. And it became clear that we needed you to teach us how to communicate in this virtual world. Today, you graduate differently than those who graduated before you and those that will graduate after you. But you are not alone. The class of 2020 in every high school, college and university shares this unique time and experience with you. And as such, this is where your story begins. You will talk about this time and this experience with your children and your grandchildren because you experienced it, you worked through it, and you survived it. You have the opportunity to take this experience and use it to write not only your future, but all of our futures. 
Some of you will go on to serve our country. And I and everyone watching this, thank you for your willingness to serve our country. Some of you will go on to a job or train for a trade. You will be the first to make our town, our county, our state, and our country a better place. Some of you will go on to college around our state, around our country, and even in Canada. Take advantage of the opportunity that comes with pursuing a degree. No matter what is next for you, be sure to work, to create, to invent, protect, build, and develop something better than we have right now, so that when you tell the story of 2020 and what comes after it for you, people will say you didn't let the story end there. Be the generation that makes the future better for everyone. The future is a story you get to write. You are uniquely qualified to make the biggest and most important impact on society moving forward. Don't forget the opportunities that you missed this past year, but don't miss the opportunities that will come in the years ahead as you write your story because your story is just beginning. Congratulations, class of 2020. Finally, I present Dina Thornton, member of the Hamilton Township Board of Education, who will congratulate the class of 2020. Good afternoon, parents, families, distinguished guests, and the graduating class of Nottingham High School. It is an honor to be here today to represent the Hamilton Township Board of Education. Four years ago, as a parent, I remember sitting at freshman orientation and a very wise man said, don't blink because the next four years are going to fly by and before you know it, you'll be watching your children graduate. What seems like yesterday is now four years later and here we are at graduation. Nottingham class of 2020, today is your day. Although it is not the day you envisioned, Today, we celebrate you and all of your accomplishments, your hard work, your dedication, your perseverance that has all brought you here today. 13 years ago, as children, you began this amazing journey and you entered the doors of kindergarten while your parents cheered you on. Fast forward to today and here you are, responsible, courageous young adults as you continue your journey into the future. Look back at the last 13 years and smile Cherish the memories and the friendships that you have made and carry them with you always. Be proud of how far you have come and always have faith in what you have yet to achieve. You are our future and you have the power to accomplish amazing things. Always remember there is no limit to what you can achieve. A special thank you to all of your friends and families for their love and support throughout the years as they have been beside you in this journey and share with you all of your accomplishments. Let's take a moment to thank the entire Nottingham staff for all of their support and guidance over the last four years and especially the last three months. Nottingham truly is a family united. Class of 2020, as you take the next steps into the future, whether it be attending college, a trade school, joining the military, or entering into the workforce, remember to always follow your dreams and believe in yourself. There is no limit to what you can achieve. On behalf of the Hamilton Township Board of Education, I would like to congratulate the graduating class of Nottingham High School 2020. Best of luck, and we are so very proud of you. Thank you. Please rise for the Nottingham alma mater. The lasting memories we share today While blue and gold are on display The hopes and dreams we share tonight Were guided by a shining light Cause it's Nottingham, oh Nottingham Where blue and gold are on display Cause it's Nottingham, oh Nottingham That remains in Every day, this northern gleam has helped us dream and renewed our spirit bright. It has glimmered through defeat and tears and displays the North Star fight. Cause it's Nottingham, oh Nottingham, 
where blue and gold are on display. Cause it's Nottingham, oh Nottingham, that remains in my heart every day. At this time, I present Mr. Frank Ragazzo to award the diplomas. Before I award the first diplomas of the evening, I would like to take a moment to thank my two very important senior class advisors, Ms. Karen Burnett and Ms. Kristen Dunham. I thank them for all of their hard work. And at this time, it gives me great pleasure to award the first diplomas of the class of 2020. Valedictorian, Evan DeGarry. Co-salutatorian, Ethan Luke Pizarro. Co-salutatorian, William Richards. Senior Class President, Kayla M. Molrine. Senior Class Vice President, Magdalene Michelle Diaz 
De Leon. Senior Class Secretary, Amanda Nicole Letts. Senior Class Treasurer, Stella Spatola. And now our class officers, Stella Spatola, Magdalene Diaz de Leon, and Amanda Letts will call the names of the rest of our graduates. Kaylee Jean Anninson. Lauren Ahern. Samantha Andrade. Justin Enrique Barrera. Kyle Bethea. Jason Christopher Syria. Leslie G. Cruz. Maxwell Cuddy. Rachel Elizabeth Everett. Chantel Valeria Fallis. Christopher B. Filippowitz. Megan Fowler. Celine Elizabeth Garcia. Christopher Brad Gonzalez. Jessica Hallam. Shay Herman. Samuel Justy. Emily M. Cott. Victoria M. Cott. Trevor Chase Climb. Tyler John Klein. Shirley Lopez Estrada. Patrick Lucky. Michael Lupa. Emily Madura. Joe Lynn Monique Maloney. Maria Jose Navarrete Chavaria. Angelina Nicole Paley. Louis Pasculi. Mariani Peralta Rodriguez. Shirley Elizabeth Price. Casey Rose Ritter. Oriana Seitz. Ansel Shaw. Kristen Shanahan. Ramona M. Tarjby. Catherine Trubin. Andrea Marie Yurostegi. Melissa Whites. Jonathan E. Wysock. Louis Akpadago. 
Jordani Alexis. Clifford O. Amankwa. Karen Ampoma. Makaya Leticia Andrews. Catherine N. Arias. David Ascona. Wyatt Richard Baker. Logan David Barber. John Barrows Santana. Kimberly Bauman. Rudy Bautista Arteaga. Alyssa M. Byrne Newborn. Naima Bellarme. Kayla Renee Bethea. Zion Bethea. Trevor R. Bolton. Courtney Elaine Bono. Kirk H. Brindley. Crystal Zaniah Brown. Tavar Rasheen Brown Jr. Dede Surprise Brownson. Jason Bienvenido Burgos. Jaeja Destiny Burnett. Owen James Caffrey. Kaylin Carrillo Ortega. Miriam Castellon Guerra. Melchior Samuel Castor. Samir Chara. Yancy Chanquin. Kernley R. Charles. Nathaniel Adams Charles. Gibson Charlotte. Alexis Clark. Jode Gabriel Clearville. Nicholas Cologne. Kayla Melissa Cordero. Janiah Covington. Liz Marlene Rose. Logan Culp. Michaela Zapp. Hannah Shanna Dazarn. Sierra Diggs. Michael Diorio. Jasmine Nicole Dominguez. Jada Lene Driver. Joshua Dubon. Brian Eads. Ashley Elizabeth Edwards. Nana Mercy Edith Eke. Mima E. Elliot. 
Rosemary Esclaville. Jason Alexis Estrada. Jaylil to Zion Evers. Heather Nicole Ewan. Wild Jeff Villiers. Wendy Fufas. Lanny Fox. Jameer R. Fulmore. Quadir Fulmore. Anna Alicia Gamboa Sosa. Stephanie Garcia. Jocelyn Yasmin Garcia Mazariegos. Harmwinder Singh Gill. Jaden Glazuski. Kaylin J. Golden. Eddie Gonzalez. Laisha M. Gonzalez. Nathaniel E. Greenberg. Kendall Gregis. Astrid Gregorio Vega. Brianna Marie Gretton. Jessica L. Griffith. Caitlin Marie Griggs. Marco Guaman. Sudesh Gurung. Eric S. Gutierrez. Sabrina M. Heineman. Darlinshire Henry. Jacques Richard Harar. Bernice Christina Darnell Hyber. Brandon Regine Holman. Zion Houston. Karen Isaac. Freshna Ismadi. Brianna Nicole Jackson. Javon Jenkins. Serenity Tamar Johnson. Taya Marie Johnstone. Farah Joseph. Jehovanya Lorlai Joseph. Jaquel Victor Jupiter. Dahasunul Kabir. Arib Khan. Aryan Khan. Jaheed Khan. Carrie Ann Kirkham. Moduana John J. Corley. 
Lindsay Stephanie Laloy. Naziah Leonard. Tanya Michelle Lopez. Nayelis Marie Lopez Rios. Christopher Taylor Lewis. Tarion R. Lewis. Corey Lewis Jean. Christern Bloses. Robert Lucky. Fronsky Luxama. Emmanuel K. Magbean Jr. Vincent Marciniak. Alicia Martin. Gabriel H. Martin. Kayla Martinez. Pedro A. Martinez Jr. Franklin Maruski. Kervin Mateo Ramirez. Xavier McAllister. Tyler J. McCall. Aiden McCann. Savelle McGee. Dagnella Maneas. Rachel Jennifer Messina. Keynes and Joff Gershom Metellus. Zachary Miller. Judson Mirak. Meliana I. Miranda. Daniel Francis Malinga. Chatsity I. Mulder. Lydia Madeline Monday. Victoria Mescal. Jillian Merkley. Ashanti M. Miles. Evelyn Anai Malaguari. Bushra Nasa. Christopher J. Negron. Matthew Angel Negron. Jair Nelson. Iverson E. Newkirk. Deontay A. Nicholson. Michelle Noble. Ogechi Stephanie Odomene. Norvin David Oriana Pacheco. Jeremiah Page. Jovan Page. Darren A. Palma Sandoval. 
Alyssa Michelle Panzita. Eric Patron. Francely Petit. Kamoy Pink. Sammy Pittman. Zania C. Pygum Defense. Dominic J. Quinones. Josue M. Quinones. Miguel A. Quinones. Liv A. Rager. Naeem Rashid. Kenneth J. Reamer Jr. Pulenji Ramundo. DeAndre L. Richard. Dana Ridley Jr. Aurora Phoenix Rifkind. Israel Rivera. Eliza R. Rodriguez. Jared A. Rodriguez. Sebastian Rodriguez. Manuel J. Roman. Charles Rosales. Sarah V. Rosati. Jesus Sabaj Reyes. Kaylin Sandoval Ovale. Mia Vanessa Sandoval. Antonio A. Santos. Jenny Anasha Saul. Ethan W. Scannon. Jessica Schneck. Emilio Elijah Selesnik. Yadiel Serrano Sanchez. Haley Shaw. Kayla Rose Sheaf. Harrison Francis Silverman. Cassie Sistrunk Lewis. Keisha Danielle Allison Smith. Leslie Sotovando Sosa. Riley Daniel Stevens. Jodelyn Stimfat. Serenity Stout. Robert John Sweeney. Jordan Swidler. Pardo J. Terrason. Philip G. Thayer II. 
Jada Janine Thomas. David Thompson Jr. Madison Patrice Thornton. Dominic A. Tyndall. Christina Torres. Jairo Jr. Torres. Xavier Orlando Torres Rodriguez. Dustin X. Tyler. Diana Nicole Basil. Sandra Joynes Villafuerte. Edgar Eduardo Villanueva Moron. Miguel Angel Viruet the Third. Aisha N. Walker. Luke A. Webb. Azizi Williams. Nas Williams. Tyrone Williams. Taye Woodall. Iceland L. Yak Chavez. Beryl Zonas Zonas. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you.